Hey guys, welcome to Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I hope you're ready for the video. Uh, sit back and relax and let's get right into it. Oh, there's so many good classes. I just don't know what to choose. I think I'm gonna go with the, uh, the Thor one, yeah. And we're just gonna keep hitting random until we get someone who looks at least decent. Uh, geez, they're all horrible. Um, oh, this guy looks good. I mean, he has my uh, colors after all, yeah. The village idiot archetype thick. All right, don't think this is the one I'll go with. I think I'll go with nerd, yeah. It's a pretty good choice, I'd say. A fallen tree bars your path. What you gonna do about it, huh? I can't identify tree. It's a species called Jumpus tutorialis. And weirdly, it only grows in this one valley. Holy crap, they might reach the Dark Master. I gotta book it. That's right, the rookie's coming for you, Will Arnett. This game looks so beautiful. God damn. You can switch between them. Keeps combat spicy, like Jambalaya. So, Tina. Maybe after this quest, I could be the Bunker Master. I've been working on a campaign. It's got orcs and... kissing. Tina don't play no more, okay? But it's all good. I got mega tons of questicles simmering up in my brain sauce, baby. I'm sorry, did she just say questicles? You hear a rumble and a booming laugh that seems to come from all around you. <laughs> oh, I can even laugh right back at you. <laughs> How'd that feel? I found it! A tomb inside of a crib! The perfect height! I am coming, my dark master! He's gonna resurrect the dragon lord! That's the exact opposite of what we want! We gotta get in there! I gotta say, the writing of this game, like, the script alone is pretty fucking funny. And, I don't know, I just love the way it is. Like the other Borderlands games, only this one, obviously more D&D bit oriented. But yeah. <laughs> this is actually really fun. The waystone glows. You feel its magic within your chest, within your mind, within your soul. It asks a question. Who are you? I am a fight maker. You answered smartly, baby! The carbon door to the Dragon Lord's tomb crumbled! The resurrection ritual has begun! <laughs> oh, boss fight! I got a special figurine for this guy. One second. Rising before you is one of the Dragon Lord's most loyal undead soldiers. It's Rivula. Roll for initiative. Tremble before Rivula. Not really trembling, Magic Man. I'm trembling. Kick his ass, Luffy. Oh, don't worry, I'm kicking his ass. Eat this, magic balls! And with a little assistance from the mighty old hammer. I gotta say, for a first boss battle, this guy is kinda easy. Won't even lie. He does have a fuck ton of loot, though, so. Yippee! Nah, dude, loot comes first, then Dragon Lord. We all know how these games play out. It's not like I'm actually timed here or anything. <laughs> It would be a shame if he ever just escaped it like that. If he didn't escape, there'd be no point to the game, right? Right? Right. All right, let's make sure you stay locked away, Mr. Dragon Lord, also known as Will Arnett, but I mean no one knows that yet because it's not credited as Will Arnett yet because I have to beat the game and Will Arnett is also the Dragon Lord. <gasps> Thank you. Damn, bro. I knew it was too good to be true. Yeah, bro, come catch these hands. See how fast you get clapped. Mm -hmm. You see what I uh, did to your guy, Ribula? Well, let's just say he was a appetizer. And now I'm ready for the full course meal. You're stronger than the ones she said before. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. We'll meet again, Fatemaker. 
But for now, I have to go pay an old shiny friend a visit. See you around the neighborhood. Damn it, he got away? We gotta track him down. I want that big bad boss down to loot. Meanwhile... This shrine behind my well-protected and notably unstaffed back is for some old god that's fallen out of fashion. I figure if we get all the pieces back together, they reward us real nice. With gold! I already found a piece myself, and I know where another one is. You get that for me, we can split the reward. I'll be here watching your back, your defenseless, stabbable back. And if anyone comes at you from the front like a moron, just give him a slap. It's the stab of the open palm. Never know who might give you the old back. The guy's name is literally the Backstab. I do not trust him. His name is literally Backstab. That's, That's what I said, bro. Want to ask? Would you look at that? Oh, Mr. Ah, backstab really got great. stabbed in the back. Well, just by Tina saying whatever, it changes the map. Like when it changed to nighttime and all the skeletons appearing, and then all the skeleton ships, which kind of appeared off on the left there. I didn't really look, but yeah, I don't know. It's really cool. I saw you fighting the undead on the beach. Glad I'm not the only one giving these bony pricks a hard time. Quite the mouth on you for a paladin. Do I bloody look like I've got time for manners lessons? I'm up to my cod piece in undead. I came out of nowhere. Yeah, that's the Dragon Lord's doing. Just came from robbing his tomb, actually. The Dragon Lord! Bollocks, we'll have to deal with him later. Right now, we have to break this siege. The undead have catapults lobbing skeletons over the walls. I need you to destroy them. Here, take this C4. Tina, I know you like explosives, but can you make it more fantasy thing than C4? Right, 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 good catch, yeah. Uh, yeah, right, uh, here, take this, uh, fantasy four. Clever thinking, game. Clever, clever oh, thinking. Get to safety. Fight through the siege fields and use that fantasy four to blow the catapults to kingdom bloody come. Okay. Drop that fantasy four onto the catapults. Now set it off. Oh, you'll want to stand bloody clear. One catapult. And catapult number two. That's way too big of a jump. What if we undestroyed I'm sorry, did they just bring back a catapult to find myself across the castle? And strike three. You're out. Wait. This is a baseball. One of the queen's waystones. No way. I've never actually seen one of these before. Are you a fate maker? Yes, I am. And I'm willing to sell you my autograph. All right. Well, I'm bloody impressed. I only heard about those in stories. Oh, badass, I got a companion. I'm gonna name it Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert the Girl. Sorry, Gilbert the Girl Mathis. No. Gilbert the... Gilbert the Great Fondling Pigeon Man. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Get him, Gilbert! Wait, is it too soon for nicknames? I'm sorry, Gilby. This makes me feel like I'm playing a very bootleg version of Tower Defense, and I like it. I love it. Honestly, I didn't quite believe it, but you fight like something out of a legend. Oh, you are a fate maker. Oh. Come on, we've stopped their ground assault, but there's some undead that made it into the city. 
Uh, better hurry if you're gonna stop me and save the world. I can only drag my feet destroying Brighthoof for so long. <laughs> Bloody gates are closed. 